Hey, good morning. It's a nice sunny, sunny morning and back there in those cases, where are they? Back there in those cases, I've got the Peridonafi, the Autel Evo, the Mavic Air and even the Mavic Pro. And my plan this morning is to set down a landing pad, uh, fly all these drones straight up to the same height, out to the same distance and hit return to home and hope for the best. And let's see how well they return to home with some sort of precision landing. Can they land in the same spot they took off from? Well, we're gonna find out. Here we go. First up, we have the Mavic Pro. So let's get this perfectly in the H. I'm just gonna put the two front legs at the top of the H, the back legs down there. And I've got the return to home set to 35 meters. Let's take it up. So quiet. Ah, oh, love that drone. All right. Make sure it don't go too high. We're going to take it up to about 20 meters. Okay, we're at 20 meters height and I'll take it forward at 150 meters. All right, approaching 150 meters and there we are. So on my controller here, let me get in the light. There we go. I've got this button right here. Return to home. Let's hit that and see what happens. Now we're in return to home mode. Drone should turn to me. I can see it over there. And now it's going to lift up to the 35 meters and it should fly directly above the landing pad and then turn around again to face the exact same direction it was facing when uh, it took off. That's what the precision return to home is all about. So there we go, comes over top. It's up top there. And now it should start coming down. Oh, it's gonna spin around first. Turn around into the direction it was before it took off or yeah, there we go. And now we should be coming down. All right, landing pad is down there. Let's see, how are we gonna do here? Close, I don't know. Looks pretty good. At least it's coming back to the landing pad. It's not going someplace else. That is a pretty slow descent. Let's see here. I'm watching this thing go down. How you doing? Well, <laughs> there is a reason the Mavic Pro is so friggin' popular. It's over a year and a half in age. I bought this thing here arrived at my house in October of 2016. And uh, look at this, the technology back then. And it's still, look at how it landed. You saw how it took off? And look where it's sitting for the landing. That's uh, it's pretty decent. Next up is the Mavic Air, which is the drone that came on the market in January of 2018. So this one's rather new. And uh, let's just take a look at how it's sitting. So let's look down. Once again, I've got the front little legs at the top of the H in the back. There we go. We're all set to go. So I have uh, return to home set at 35 meters. Same thing. We'll take it up to the specified height. Kind of noisy. All right, we're at 20 meters and we're gonna head out to 150 meters. And there we go, 150 meters. Same thing as last time, hold this up so you can see it. Hit the little, that's the power button. That would not be good to hit that, sorry. The return to home is over here, hit this. It gauges return to home and uh, our little drone should do exactly like the Mavic Pro did. It should turn around, face me, cause this is the direction it wants to come back. So if I wave, Doubt if you can see me from the camera, it's 150 meters away. And then as it gets to its 35 meter height, which it's at now, it's gonna zoom over towards me. And we'll see how good the uh, precision landing is on a much newer model. Now remember the Mavic Pro is pretty darn old. And this thing is over, well, this thing's over a year newer than the Mavic Pro. Let's see, spin around. There you go, turn it around. And then here we do the descent. Let's hope it lands where it took off because it would be kind of embarrassing if a much more newer model with more technology uh, from the same company took off and couldn't land back as well as the previous older model. It's coming down really fast compared to the uh, Pro. All right, so here we come over to it. It's coming down, coming down. Where are you gonna land, buddy? says not suitable for landing on my display uh, so I have to force landing all 
There you go. All right. I think the reflection, that H, you see on the angle I'm at, I think it gives a bit of a reflection. And for the DJI drones, it reflects back and it goes, whoa, is that water? What is that shiny surface? So it says not suitable for landing. All right. So once again, like every test in the world, the Mavic Pro is always going to be the gold standard for, well, pretty much precision landing. Because look at this, there's the Mavic Air. And although it's within inches of where it took off, over here, it's over here, we're talking like maybe if I go center of body to over there, maybe eight inches, if that. And uh, it landed over there. So still, all in all, Good job, Mavic Air, but not as good as your big brother, the Mavic Pro. Next up, we have the Parrot Anafi. Here we have the Anafi down there. You see how I have it laid out again. I've got the little front legs here pointing right at the front of the H. So we'll see how well the precision lands. I'm going to guess it's probably not that great compared to DJI drones because there's not a lot of sensors on the bottom. And I just spent five minutes looking at this free flight software and nowhere in the settings, which are extremely limited for actually setting up your drone, is there an option to set your return to home height. The Paradinafi is a drone that if you look at the right hand corner of the display, there's a green GPS signal. When that is not green, it will say GPS. If you take off the Anafi without that being green, it will take off, but it will move around a little bit because it doesn't have GPS lock. So right now I've got GPS lock, so I'm ready to go. So let's hit the little up button and uh, take off. Should stay nice and stable. Let's take it up to the normal flight height that we've been doing with the other drones. Get it up to our 20 meters. Going up, going up, going up. Where are you Anafi? There it goes. It's so quiet. I'm gonna take it forward uh, the 150 meters. It's a very quiet drone. I do like it for that. And I do like the camera options on the Anafi. It makes my life so much easier. Where am I like for distance? All right, 143, I better let go. All right, hit the return to home button. I have no idea what this Parrot Anafi is gonna do on return to home. I've never tested a Parrot Anafi. You and I are gonna see this together first time. Here we go. It spins around. I can see it spinning around, looking back at me. So it does like a DJI drone, but I didn't see it ri raise up. It looks like it's just staying at that height and coming home. It looked like it never went up at all. I had it at 20 meters. Is that the return to home height? I don't know. Anyways, here it is. It's coming over top, nice and quiet. It is one of the coolest looking drones in the air because it looks like a little bug, some sort of insect. It's coming down. It does not do like the DJI drones. It does not spin around. It's facing the wrong direction. It's whipping down at a fast speed. That is like super fast coming down. Oh, now it's going back up. What's it gonna do? Doesn't say anything on my screen. Ah, so it just sits there. Now I have to land it. All right, okay, so I gotta hit the button. So that's return to home, it won't land. So I hit, I'm gonna hit this button to land. That's my takeoff button. Slam it down. There we go. I will still give points to the Paradinafi. Well done. But not as good as the Mavic Pro or the Mavic Air. Next up, we have the Autel Evo all ready to go. Here's a happy moment with the Autel Evo. Right after I did my video on the ND filters for the Autel Evo and complained I only had one battery, well, look what showed up in the mail. I got another battery right here. Thank you very much, Droneworks. Yes, I did order this, but at least they said it to me quickly. One thing that's cool on the Autel Evo app, it actually tells you the weather right now. So it says a really nice day for flying, except it's wrong. It says cloudy. And if I look up in the sky, anybody see any clouds? Might be one. There's a few things that need to be fixed on the Autel Evo. The Autel Evo is all set to go. You see how I have it, I have it lined up. I'll just get my shadow out of the way. Look at the little, little uh, legs in the front. So we'll see exactly how it comes back. Let's start her up. Let's take it up to our nice little height. There you go. Again, another nice looking drone as it flies up. A lot of people have been asking how I adjust the gimbal because I don't have the firmware, the new firmware to get rid of that horizon tilt. All you have to do on the bottom of the screen, in this case, I just hit the minus sign because the gimbal is too much on the plus sign. That looks good. I've got it at minus 2.2. That will work for this drone as long as I keep flying in that direction. If I start moving the gimbal up and down and spinning around in circles, it's gonna go out of whack again. Let's take it out to the 150 meter distance. I've never done a return to home on the Autel Evo. Let's see what it does. Hold it down. I can see it saying go home. And it should be in going home mode. 
it says going home. What's it going to do? Ah, it does like a DJI drone. It spins around. Now you notice, see that? It just messed up my whole gimbal. Do you see that? The horizon tilt? Where are you going to land, Autel Evo? Please do well. Please do well. You have people counting on you to do well. It's turning around nicely. Just like a DJI drone. It's coming down nice and slow. Not crazy fast like the Anafi. That was insane. Oh, it's moved itself over. It actually moved itself over to the right. I'm not touching anything here on my little control. Oh, it's moved itself again to the rear. It's adjusting itself. I've never seen that before. It is moving front to back. There's no wind. It's doing it itself. I have no idea. I'm not touching any controls. Let's see what it says. Oh, look at that. It adjusted itself again. It's going left, right. That's pretty cool. That is pretty neat. Oh, uh, whoa, 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 and whoa, that is pretty awesome. Look at that. This thing, as it was landing, I have never seen a DJI drone do that. This came down, and every so many feet or meters, it decided to adjust itself to the front, to the back, to the left, to the right, and it moved a few feet either way until it got itself perfectly, looking at this image and bringing itself down. Now, it's not as perfect. Well, it's almost as perfect as the Mavic Pro, but I would say... You know, this one and the Mavic Pro, they are neck and neck for precision landing. So, Autel Evo, well done to you guys. And there we have the two drones in the winner's circle because honestly, the Evo and the Pro, they did pretty well. You know, they landed as close as any technician would love their product to land. That was pretty decent. So, uh, once again, Evo, well done. And Pro, I know you're over a year and a half old. Well done to the technicians who built you because, my God, whatever they put in you, it works really well. So, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you own a Mavic Air and you're all disappointed, don't worry, the Mavic Air did well. If you own a Parrot and Afi and you're all disappointed, don't worry, the Parrot did well too, at least it came back. And that is the end of this test. Many more comparison tests coming up in the future, so if you're not a subscriber, hit that subscribe button so you don't miss any cool videos coming up. Anyways, for now, I'll say take care and we'll catch you in the next video.